Welcome back to another episode of the free VST Plugin Detective, where I review, test out, and demonstrate various free STs. I want to wish everybody a happy holidays, and because there's a lot of holiday music coming out right now, I'm going to review the Bells E Booth uh, VST by Alan uh, Vista. This is an amazing VST, especially if you're going to be producing some holiday themed music. Why not use this free plugin? Jumping into this VST, I'm going to pull up his description on his site, basically about it. But he says, Bells E Booth is a sampled orchestra bells, modern form of a glockenspiel, containing 40 serial samples from the University of Iowa Electronic Music Studios Public Domain Library. Samples are gently spread in stereo through the keyboard. My rating on this plugin is a 4 out of 5. I think this is an amazing plugin if you want to have basically some nice bells slash almost a vibraphone, xylophone, glockenspiel type sample in your productions. However, I would not make it the forefront of your productions, and I'll show you. So jumping into Ableton, which is my main DAW, but keep in mind, obviously, for all these videos, for all the plugins that I review, you can literally use them for and use them in basically anything. You know, so here's how it looks. Basically, here's the GUI or the graphical user interface. You can see right off the bat that this is basically the main range of this VST. It even says right up here, C3 to E6 is basically the main range. So this is something that's more in the mid to higher range spectrum, basically uh, in terms of its complete width or the range of the notes that you can play. And you have basically four different settings here. You have the dynamic setting right here, sustain and release, there's no attack or decay, and then this volume. So I think, even though I think this could be a little more embellished, it's not too bad. Um, some VSTs now you can click and kind of hear it. This one you can't. It's more just a picture. That's fine. I mean, I think that's more of just a icing on the cake when it comes to a lot of VSTs. And I do like the dynamic setting. I think that's really important, especially if you're just doing a lot of specific velocity settings and other type of settings to make it more humanized. So I like that it has the dynamic setting. The same releases, that's okay to me. And then obviously volume is, you know, basically your main volume setting. Now, playing it, obviously you can hear how it sounds. So I'm going to be playing it on the go lower register. I'll do this. So that's basically how it sounds, the entire spectrum. Now, playing it, you can hear right off the bat that there's a lot of high end when it comes to this plug-in. And for me, that's why this is something I feel a bit mixed about. That's why I'm giving it a four out of five is that I felt that one, I wish there was a lot of lower notes. Obviously C3, that's the lowest it can go. I do wish, and I understand obviously for an instrument like this, it's typically going to be in the high register, but it would be nice if there was a little bit lower notes, even if it to push them a little bit to really make them good quality. I do wish there was a little bit lower notes. I feel like there's a bit of a short range. But like I said in the beginning of this video, I do think this is not something that's going to be your main melody instrument or synth, right? This is not the type of thing that's going to be the main portion of your song. It's going to be more of a embellishment, sort of ambiance or effect or percussive element even that you want, like a tonal percussive element. You want to have like a, and that's it, right? A random point, stop your track. Just to add some nice little flair and kind of like more of the icing on the cake or the sprinkles on the ice cream, so to speak. So that's basically the main basically portion of the instrument. Um, that's basically all I really have to say about it. I mean, sometimes, especially on a lot of the other VSTs I've reviewed, there's a lot of other weird features that you can do with them, and usually I talk about them and review them, explain what's going to bad. What I do like about this VST, too, is it's very straightforward. It only has four different knobs to adjust, you know, some of the elements in the samples, you know, dynamics, sustain, release, and volume. That's basically all you need. And like I said, this is definitely something that is going to be more, I feel like, when it comes to your tracks, more turn down, uh, a little bit lower compared to the other stuff. But if you want to have some great holiday samples, add some nice holiday elements to your track, this is a great solid VST that has a decent sound. A little bit sharper in the high end, in my opinion, so you might want to EQ it, you know. Uh, but even though it's a little bit sharper in the high end, it has a great holiday sound, great, great sample selection too, I do feel like. And you cannot go wrong, especially for those holiday bangers.